is this replacement remote. This also came from the Goodwill Benz. I do pick up remotes. Um, you just have to figure out which item it goes to. You can do that with Google Lens a lot of times. And a lot of times they're bread and butter. But if you can find one that's more harder to find or for a more popular toy, maybe they may go for a little more. I'm not really sure. I sold this. For hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Items that I sourced cheap and sold for $35 or less on eBay. I'm going to tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. And I bet you walk past a lot of these items. Let me know in the comments which item you definitely would have walked past. All right, let's get started here with the first one. You know, I don't pick up a whole lot of DVDs, but I will pick them up if they are sealed. Um, because I don't have to test them and people do still buy them. Um, are they big money? No, typically they're just bread and butter. But this Dumbo Disney CD, CD, <laughs> DVD sold for $15. The buyer was all in for $19.46 on that. And I got it at a garage sale for $1. The next item are these vintage lot of miniature glass Sunday cups. They're signed PG. Um, I don't know what that stands for. These took forever to sell, forever, like probably two or three years forever. Um, I It may have been my title. I'm not great with titles for glass. I don't do a lot of breakables. So um, let me know if you would have used different keywords. They were really, really cute. Um, somebody did ask me to measure the actual base so that they could um, see if it would fit in their windowsill, I think. So I measured the top and the side, but I didn't do the base. So, okay. I ended up selling those for $12 on best offer. And I got those at a garage sale. The next item here are these, uh, it's this Barbie Let's Go Windsurf. It includes windsurf, beach tote, sunglasses, and towel. I got this from a thrift store for a quarter. And I sold this on uh, best offer for $11 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this Boyd's Bear and Friends, the Bearstone Collection Rex Bearsley, Holland, a night's work. And this is a Halloween one. I do pick up any that are Halloween. This one I didn't have to pick up. It was in a mystery box, a Halloween box that I got. Um, I feel like the Boyd's figurines are... A little bit harder to sell, but if you can find the Halloween or the themed ones, they have a tendency to do a little better. I sold this for $19.60 plus shipping, and that was a thrift store mystery box. These are the vintage 1974 Fisher Price Little People chunky jumbo figures, two of them here. I got these out of a thrift store mystery box, and I sold these for $14 plus shipping. The next item came from. I don't remember where this came from. I buy these loving family dollhouses that are full of furniture. I get them on Facebook Marketplace. I get them at garage sales. I have two totes full of this furniture that I need to list. Um, it can do really, really well. I feel like the market's a little saturated right now. Um, so a lot of them are going for bread and butter. I did, however, sell this for $28 plus shipping. It's the swing set in the slide there. This is a clothing item, but and it took a long time to sell, but I just thought it was funny. Get a life cheeseburger fries t-shirt men's size large. I sold this for $17.50 plus shipping. I don't even remember where I got it or what I paid for it, but it was probably a buck or less and probably a garage sale. This right here came from the Goodwill bins. It's a vintage 1987 cooking with Mickey around our world, Walt Disney cookbook. And it sold pretty quickly for $15.40 plus shipping. If you want to learn more about cookbooks, go visit my friend, Rachel Strickland. Her channel is her name. It is a reseller channel. And she went to an auction. She has a video on it. And she bought like 1 million cookbooks. Okay, maybe not a million, but pretty darn close. And she listed them and she has been selling them left and right. Now, a lot of them are bread and butter and she will tell you more about that over on her channel, but definitely go and subscribe. I will link her down in the description. All right, here we have Into Africa tie. This is a Safari Animals Wildlife 100% silk tie. I got this at the Goodwill Benz. 
it was super lightweight. So I went ahead and picked it up because I thought it was cool. It sold for $7.50 plus shipping. So just a major bread and butter there. The next item I sold is this replacement remote. This also came from the Goodwill Benz. I do pick up remotes. Um, you just have to figure out which item it goes to. You can do that with Google Lens a lot of times. And a lot of times they're bread and butter. But if you can find one that's more harder to find or for a more popular toy, maybe they may go for a little more. I'm not really sure. I sold this for $10.50 plus shipping. My Goodwill Benz is $1.79 a pound. So I probably had about a buck in that. These Boy Scout uh, patches, it's a patch set and it came inside this little plastic case. I got this at a garage sale for a buck and I sold this for $14 plus shipping. The next item is this vintage 1986 Popples duffel bag. It is really, really cool, but it was definitely in played with condition and had some uh, cosmetic issues, stains, defects in the material, you know, stuff like that. So it only sold for $19.99 plus shipping. I do feel like if it would have been in better condition, I could have listed that much higher. I do have an actual vintage Popple plush listed in my store. So if anybody's interested in that, you can check that out. I did pay 50 cents for this at a garage sale. The next item I sold is this sippy cup. And I love selling things like this because most of you just walk past these things. This is one of those, I think it's um, a disappearing uh, juice. So you flip it upside down and then it looks like it's empty. How cool is that? And this is from a baby alive doll. It says it right there. Uh, the for real uh, items like the cookies and the broccoli and different things that go to the for real pets are a great bread and butter to pick up. Also, because a lot of times people lose those items and they're looking for replacements. I have a whole video that teaches you guys different replacement items that I have sold or parted out. Definitely check out that video. Um, if you put Bola Buddies replacements into the YouTube search, you should be able to pull that up. This sippy cup sold for $10.50 and it, the buyer paid shipping. And I got that out of a thrift store mystery box. These Disney Infinity, Infinity Incredibles figures I got at the Goodwill bins. And I believe these three were given to me by a guy there that knows I have a YouTube channel and he knows I like to sell toys. And he brought these over to me, if I remember correctly. He's brought me several Infinity, but for some reason, I remember that some of them were the Incredibles. So if you're watching, thank you so much. I appreciate it. I sold these for $15 plus shipping. The next item is this uh, Pokemon tablecloth. And it is vintage and it's super, super cool. I got this at a thrift store for a buck and I sold this for $10.50 plus shipping. I thought this one was going to sell really quick and it was more of a long tail item. Maybe because I only had one. I don't know. The next item are these House of Harlow earrings. I got these at a garage sale for $3 and I did pay up a little bit for these. I did look them up while I was there. They do have sterling silver posts and the sell through rate and the comps looked pretty good. So I paid the three bucks and I sold them for $24.50 plus shipping and they sold very quick. This little learning experience Lionstein Academy of Early Education Plush came out of the bins. If you don't know, I went to the Goodwill bins and there were two huge buggies full of plush. First time that has ever happened and I had video footage and it was amazing and I deleted it. But I do have a haul video where I show you all of the plush. I take them out of the bag, I unbag it, and I show you how I listed everything. So definitely go check that out. It's not the same as being at the Goodwill bins, but pretty cool to find so many plush at the bins. I sold this guy for $9.99 and the buyer paid shipping and he's just a little guy. The next item I sold are these buttons and they took forever to sell. When I say forever, I'm talking years upon years upon years. No, I don't know how many years, but it took a few years. Uh, they're really, really cute. I, maybe it was my title. I don't know. It's an older listing. So sold these for $13.99 plus shipping. So I did still make a good profit because I picked these up really, really cheap. All right. The next one is a bundle. Um, I sold four items to one person. I sold this little Insco uh, Christmas ornament, Pretty Baby. I sold this Spider-Man ornament. This here is a tin metal department 56 Santa ornament. 
and this Dr. Seuss ornament. And all of those went to the same person for a total of $40.50 plus shipping. These were all first class items. And I do offer combined shipping with first class items. When people add items to their cart, their total shipping cost is $5. So if you're ever shopping in my store, um, if you add items to your cart, it will discount the shipping if all the items are first class. I think all of my clothing is applied to that discount rate also with the $5 shipping with a purchase of two or more items. All right, the next item I sold, I love these. I have sold two of these. It's a 1976 Dancing Juggling Santa wind-up music box. And I do have a video down in the description that shows how that works. Um, I put those videos over on my reseller testing Bolo products channel, which I really, really think that is a cool idea because anybody that is searching this, it's going to pull up the video. And then I link my eBay store in the description. So it could potentially bring you a buyer to your item. So think about that. Even if you don't um, do YouTube and you don't want to personally be on YouTube like I am right now, you can just display the items, okay? I got this at a garage sale for $1 and I sold it for $28 plus shipping. The next item is this vintage play school couch and I sold this for $10.50 plus shipping. Again, this is just an item I picked up in bulk uh, when I buy uh, different doll houses. This one was from play school. Kellogg's lot of eight astronaut breakfast game pens, uh, white and blue, Tony the Tiger. This came out of a dibble box that I purchased from Donatella Bottolino's YouTube channel. A dibble box is a dibble bit of this and a dibble bit of that. It's basically a box of reseller items, items that you can purchase from her at a wholesale price so that you still have room to flip those items for a profit. I do have an unboxing video on this channel. I have a bunch actually. Um, I purchase from Donatella Bottolino and auctions for, for you all the time. Um, and I've got a lot of videos. I unbox them and show you how I list everything. So check those out and check them out. I'll link them down below. Let's see, these pins I sold for a best offer of $10 and the buyer was all in for $16.56. These little, 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 Playmate Space Station, two green replacement chairs. Um, it says mystery box, but I could have swore that I got that at a garage sale and I, I parted it out and I just know, I almost can remember getting it. I don't know why I put mystery box on all of them because I, in my little custom skew, I keep track of where I got it for my videos. But unless I had two of them, I mean, I guess it could happen. I sold these for $9 on best offer and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I got at the Goodwill bins, it's a vintage um, Eomega Jazz external hard drive. And um, the pieces were just kind of all over the place. I was able to find these three pieces. And this is from some of the bins footage that I lost, unfortunately. And um, it's a cool find. I sold it for a best offer of $20. The buyer was all in for $29.90. All right, the next item I sold is this big old Pooh Bear, and he took forever to sell. Um, I think I just had him priced too high, but he was 26 inches. I believe he was vintage, and he was really cool. I thought he was worth 45 bucks. Somebody gave me an offer of 20, and I'd had it listed for a while, so I went ahead and took that, and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this Swimways Octopus Hank figure toy from Finding Dory. And he's pretty big, about seven inches there. I sold this for $9.80 plus shipping. And I think I got that at a garage sale. The next item are these Series 1 Marvel Heroes Battle Dice Boosters. These came from a toy box that I purchased from Donatella Bottolino's YouTube channel. And it was just a mixed lot of toys. I sold this for $10.50 plus shipping. All right, you guys, that was 30 bread and butter bolos. Let me know which items you would have walked past and check out another video. They're going to be popping up here and here and there's going to be a subscribe button. Oh, I got it right, right here. Click on that if you're new here. Thank you so much and I will see you at the next one. Thanks for watching.